Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing our lifestyle topics, and this is going to give us this story. Go ahead, Bisi. Okay, so uh, this we saw on social media, and, you know, the person says, randomly thinking of the time I dated this man who lived on another continent, and whenever he was feeling really down right here from Nigeria, I'd order gifts and have them delivered to him just to cheer him up. I never got the same treatment, not even on my birthday. This was about four years ago. I thank God for delivering me from stupidity. So I think this is just talking about um, reciprocating kind gestures mm. from our partners. And, you know, I like to start by saying that sometimes we take a lot of things for granted, mm. especially if you're the one who's been receiving. You just assume that's the normal thing to do. You are the one that they will remember their birthdays and send gifts. You are the one that they will do some little, little activities for. And you just assume that is life. And if you're a selfish person, you will not even think to do the same thing for the other partner. And it causes a lot of issues in marriage. You know, sometimes you know, I've been called out like, Madam, Madam, you're always collecting money. <laughs> Madam, Madam, what are you giving? What are you giving? Let me give you an instance. So this is our 15 years marriage anniversary. I now presented my budget for my gifts. What you wanted to give what me? I wa no. What, you want what to I wanted to collect. <laughs> that was for you. What I wanted to collect, I presented it. And he was like, okay, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you. He said, so where's my own? I said, but you don't need anything. He said, but you too, do you need anything? <laughs> this thing you're asking of, you already have. I just want to do it. I said, but I, I, I'm giving you peace. The peace that passes all understanding I'm giving to you Jesus. to look for money. <laughs> You know, but you know, over time, and so I went out of my way last year to celebrate his birthday with my savings. Uh -huh. Like he didn't know I had that amount of money, and I went all out because I just felt this person. Oh gives, yeah, I remember gives, that. Gives. Yes, yes, you remember. Yes. And he did not smile very well. I'm still holding it against yes. him for not smiling like this because this is the first time I'm really coming out. So I think we just pay attention to if what, I'm what's receiving too much. About how do I though? give? What's this fuss about gifts? Why is everybody always about? Gifts, you know, you have to reciprocate with because I mean, I don't know. Let me come to you guys. Nima, um, issues of gifts. So what do you think about it? Okay, so me, I'm a giver, and so my husband doesn't remember the details. He doesn't put details into even the gifting. He just come back and say, I saw this. They were selling it in the office. I bought for you. Uh -huh. And so I put details in gifting. I buy things that I think my kids have mentioned. So when they get it, oh, mommy, you did remember uh, those kind of things. I like those kind of things. But I'm not married to that kind of person. Mm. It's also very important wow. that you reciprocate, as BC said. So, okay, I'm upset. We are, do, we are protesting right now. Usually, it's important when you're in a relationship, you pay attention to that person you have chosen to spend a lifetime with. So, this girl's story, for instance, is very upsetting. She was gifting to lift up a person. She has shown a pattern. Mm. Have a, put more attention in the relationship and try to accept you're just a selfish, unkind person and try to reciprocate it. But men generally, the way they are wired, they'll buy you a gift. You don't need to have a message. It's mm. you that is looking. Attach your message mm. to yourself. the gift. Yeah. Yes. That's on the kind of men. Oh. Go yeah. ahead. Um, gifting is, is, people love to collect gifts. And also, giving gifts, for many people, you see how happy it also makes them to see that the person that has received your gifts uses the gifts or is very excited about the gifts. Understand that. But I think my problem is, um, with people is sometimes they want you to give it exactly as they, they, they have given you. Oh. And it does not always work out, you know, that way. So you gave me a bag and then I take you out to, maybe I take you out to lunch. Or you I give me a pen. Me, yes. Give me nice or you give me a very nice pen and then what? I, I, you know, I give your kids something. But because it was not exactly the way that you gave it to me, then you feel that, well, after all the things I've done, some people have the sort of gifts that they will give you where they would place things, like they can look at the things, one, two, three things, physically, that, they can, that you have given them. But for some other people, it's experiences that they have given you, you know, or it's something that would have, um, they have stepped in for you in some way, you know, that you were not even aware of that they could do it. Some people have more money than the others, and mm. so the person may not be able to even give you as much in uh, materially as you have given them, but that does not mean the person does not show kindness. So sometimes I've seen that people show ingratitude because they do not receive a gift exactly the way that they have given. That is correct. See, um, also that no, no, I get it. Yes, because you have talked about those ones, so I decided to bring another angle to it. Like, you know, there are other times. So we need to also be careful that that's not what we're doing, mm. that we're not... Um, 
counting gifts. Mm. I said, so did you? Yes. You one know, zero, I gave one, you one. I gave you for a birthday. You didn't give me for my birthday. Some people will look for special days and give you gifts. Some people will just out of the blue just will send you a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, so those things we need to also learn to remember that we're different people and we show our own love and kindness different in ways. If you're in a relationship and this person is always giving you gifts, but this other person, the other person you're in a relationship with just shows up for you many other ways. And you you know, you hear people say, ah, if not for this person that quickly did this or made this, made this call or fixed this thing for me, I wouldn't have done it. And then when you, then you now sit down to be counting gifts and because you have not seen physical handbag, physical phone, physical pen, like this person does not show me kindness when I've shown the person mm -hmm. kindness. All right, let me, okay, well, go ahead. Oh. I'm not going to go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so you're correct in the sense that it's not good to make an exchange of, but it's mm. also a major sign of ingratitude mm. to have a person not even attempt to put attention to what they want to use. So imagine that you, I grew up with a couple of friends. I, call, I'd say, I always say I have plenty of best friends and a lot of them married and left Lagos, but I still live here. So I do something. I take my time out and I hope they are watching because I know we'll get calls. I would go and visit their parents because mm. I visited that home when we were growing up. Mm. So ah, uh, uh, I'll be coming to Lagos. Oh, you're coming to Lagos. I will come to the house. Oh, my dad is down. Oh, my dad passed. I will show up mm. at the house. And I'll notice that uh, it's suddenly now my own house that we used to also visit is now far. Then at home, I, I started reducing how I got involved with, on their behalf with their parents because it's an Islamic um, mm. um, saying of the prophet that, you know, gifts increase this bond. Those visits are also rewarded in times of need and all of that. So I put emphasis, I put details in, I invest time and all of that in that friendship. When I didn't feel it was, this, my, my particular friend visited Lagos last year and she just made a call. You know, it was taken for granted that uh, mm. Nima would show up. Mm. And I don't get Lagos, so I said, welcome. <laughs> you lock and, up. You know, I just locked up, I, just, I was like, no. I, can't, I considered, and it was at a time I, that was sensitive for me. I felt that she couldn't have been in Lagos for that event. But after that event, Anima, I was, you know, you were on my mind. You will show up because you see me, your family know me. I come to your house. I, got, I, I saw Mama the other day. Mama is doing like this. She's not doing exactly well. You know, that feedback on your behalf is, a, is an investment in friendship. People don't put attention in those details and then wonder, ah, why are you you know, uh, different or you're yeah. counting it. Those are important things that we must pay attention to. Mm. Yeah, so I think um, we need to learn to love people the way they want to be loved. Mm. You know, when we talk about mm -hmm. our love languages, some people is um, receiving gifts that is their love language. Now, if you're in a relationship with somebody whose love language is receiving gifts, and you feel, let me just give you service, even if you're giving me gifts, but see service me I can give to you, and you continue like that, there will be a strain in the relationship. Mm -hmm. At some point, the person will start feeling like, Hmm, this thing that I'm not getting, I'm not getting. And it's not because they are not seeing what you're doing. It's just because you're not hitting their love spot with what you're doing. Yeah. So if I am interested in you as my spouse or my friend, and I want to grow a relationship, it's for me to understand what makes BC tickle. How do I do it that she loves it, that she would appreciate it, that she would... Mm. I don't have to do it all the time. Mm. But if I need to save up, if I need to, once in a while, just to show that I, I may not be able to give you this all the time, but I know this is what you like, mm. and this is what you would appreciate. It goes a long way. Mm. The problem here is some people feel um, there's no need to put in effort. This is me. Yes, exactly. This is who I am. Yeah. So I know that she is a family person, for instance, and she's doing something in her house. And I feel, mm, I don't even have time. I don't even have, mm. the, the, the person I am is just to give you cash. I'll just give cash. Mm. Even if she collects the cash and says thank you, it will mean more to her mm -hmm. if I come Presence. to her house, if I stay a night, if I help to wash the plates while they are cooking, I'm shouting, I'm yeah. making noise, I'm, you know, it will, if I give her that support, because that's how she loves to be loved. Mm -hmm. Let's not be selfish in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Just do it the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. This is what I can do. I, yeah. I've started paying attention to people now to understand, okay, what does this person like? How would this person appreciate? My husband does not need anything. Just hug, cuddle him give him quality time, every other thing you want he can give to you. And when I don't, I'm not able to give him that quality time, I feel bad. I feel like, hey, I'm not meeting this guy at the point. Mm -hmm. I need to make time, I need to make time. It's something I keep, I'm not a quality time person. Yeah. Give me money, yeah, be going, right? <laughs> but I'm making that effort because I want to make him happy. I want to love him 
the way he wants to be loved. Mm -hmm. We should just mm -hmm. learn that for yeah. relationship sake. Yeah. Very, very Fantastic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you nodding your head? What's your story? I agree completely. So you, you have a friend who is an one person. And then you say, oh, I'll just send you a check for an event. The friend will continue to file your check. Yeah. At some point, we'll be like, oh, okay, it's about the Money. gifting. Showing up is so important mm. for people like you. For yes. me, I don't mind, darling. Send no, me the check. There was a time. No, no, I there like showing up. There's an age you get to. Yeah, you it's not, it's, When somebody yeah, does true. it to you, you'll be like, oh, is it about money? Is true. it friendship? True. Is it viable? Are you. There are investments you put in, time, effort mm. that is not always you know, monetized, that cannot be monetized. Imagine that you had a friend who was there for you in an health issue, yeah. at a time where you had a health situation. Mm. Yeah. And then the tables turned, and you could just say, oh, call me when you need something. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, some simple, simple things. And they said the simple things in life are the, are the most yeah, important. Yeah. Those, you see those ones that you say, monetize. I, I failed now to show up for family events among family members when uh, my dad was alive. I used to just cover up that dad will show up. But now I notice that my aunties are counting it. Uh, you, wait, you, if you get money, you get rag rich me. You know, <laughs> yes, and don't be like that. So when you come to those places, when you, I finally make up. If I can't show up that day, I will come back another right. day. And I'll be extremely apologetic about not showing up on that day. One even told me point blank, if you're not coming, don't bother. Mm -hmm. what, if, what, what if in situations where people don't even know their love language? They don't understand that gifts exactly. mean anything it's to from them. from the so, pattern yeah. that so, shows you. So, if, so you as a person, you're not expecting gifts. But maybe, maybe as, as a husband and wife or whatever, you never used to give each other yeah. gifts. You don't know about that. And, but then, and sometime in the middle, right. somebody now yeah. finally now gives you a gift and you realize, oh my goodness. So, so for me, that's what, one thing I have with these boxes mm -hmm. that we tend to put people in and describe people, love languages. For me, because I've seen people, the love languages change. Yeah, it does. You know, things... So that's why in relationships, be careful about putting people in boxes or you have to show me in the way that it ticks my box. Sometimes pay attention to the fact that that person is putting in a lot of effort in what they are doing to show you the love in the way that they know how. Do you understand? Mm. Sometimes we're so concentrated on how it ticks my box, on how it meets my need, without paying any regard or appreciation on the effort of the other person. For you, it may just be, what did the person even do? She calls me every day, she keeps calling me. But that person hey, took the took time and the effort. Or the person stops by to visit you, drops off a bit, you know, and says hello. You think, like, what did she do? After I, when I bought her ticket to go this, mm -hmm. and she, and she came and saw me, and the only time, only the only thing she come and visited me, visited me. Uh, I bought her this fine jewelry that she's been wearing everywhere. You know, it's not... Be, the selfishness can also go in a way that you're just so concerned about yourself. And you know one thing about relationship is also communication. So after a while, when you say some, when you do something, you know, and if you love the person so much and respect the person enough, you can say, you know what, I would rather prefer this. Then the person can also learn. Don't always think also that people can just read your cues. You know, everybody's going through one thing or the other. And um, many times you when you give a gift that the person does not receive in the way that you have gone as far to give to that person, it seems like this person is showing gratitude. It's just a misunderstanding or miscommunication that could have been addressed by just communicating to each other. Yeah. I think we can wrap up on that. Any final? Yeah. yeah so, so learn to talk about it. Some persons are not very open to talking about what they need. And like you said, not everybody knows what they need. And because we grow and evolve over time, I remember a few years ago, if you had asked me my love language, I would have told you something different. Right now, it's something totally different. So what helps us in relationships is observation. Observe people, observe their patterns. Then where it's not clear, ask questions, you know, so that you're not, let your good not be evil spoken of. You are okay. doing the best mm. you can do. You are struggling the best way you can struggle. At the end of the day, it's not being appreciated because nobody's having a true mm. conversation. I can only see, I cannot see your intent. I can only see from your actions, right? But if you mm. communicate, it's, it's easier to... You know, go through it's life. It's also like bad that. to put your person in the position where they have to say something that you're doing wrong, and then you'll be like, why are you overreacting? Yeah. Sometimes you see these patterns. Don't let your um, person have to ask. I sent a gift to someone. Five months later, I was waiting for the person to say whether they were well suited or not. <laughs> mm. In the position of asking. Did and that, get the that gift? killed my morale. Oh. Because I kept, that, that you know have that you gotten it? Ah, did you like it? Did she, did she like it? Did she not like it? Everybody was like, oh, 
she did, but she don't even know that but, she needed to call but, you. But Nima, you know that, that happens, especially for us. Ah, oh people God. say, someone like me now, some people send me gifts all the time. I can't even keep up who sent what. Mm -hmm. And how, how, how would I know who said thank you to? That? Because after all the time, my PA is one collecting the gifts and thanking me. Just the ones that she knows that I would take. She put the ones that she knows that she knows that I wouldn't mind her taking. Yes. She would take it for herself. Maybe like, hey. So sometimes it's not I say I don't want to acknowledge that you send me something. No, this was a one on Maybe one. Maybe yeah, yeah, it's a for one on one that absolutely. No, but general gifts from different wow. people, it's always so difficult to, to, to keep up. A general thank you. Yeah, I got a gift yes. last week at the gate of seasoning. I've been trying to call the person. We're wondering. So, so that's is, a different thing. Yeah. But yeah. when you have it, like this, give me something and I, I, I you just acknowledge. Just move on. Yeah. Like uh, it's busy now. Yeah. You know? yeah. I think I'm that's all we can take on today's show. Hope we learned a few things as we have. Have a great day and uh, give somebody something today. Your loved one, go back home today with a gift for that person you love. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.